Hello and welcome back. In this section, we will be working with action simple. Now, simple is not a component, but something which I have distinguished between some of the complicated actions and some of the simple actions. So, what we will cover, we will see button. Even if we have seen button in a lot of examples in few last sections, we will still be seeing some of the different types of button, how you can use those button because we have been just using button for the sake of using button, but we have not drilled down. Okay, what are the types of buttons we have? What are the different property values which you can use to change the property of the button? And um, then we'll see breadcrumb, which will be a new component, group links, menu items, URL helper, action sheets. So all these six we will see, there will be a lot of actions, but top six simple actions we will see. These are primarily not a very big component or in itself not going to take a lot of time so i will navigate them or navigate through them quickly i will create a single project and i will try to create a main project where you have multiple links if you click on that link then you can go to that example so we will use routes here a lot so let's try to start with creating a project and first creating the structure of the examples or the structure of the project which we intend to create okay so if we come to the web id i will be creating a new project and um, project from template and um, sap uif application action simple demo dot action dot simple and uh, this is the namespace and uh, the first view name which i have to name here i will say as main so it will be a main view so we will have multiple links to different individual views and when we click on that particular link we go to that page and uh, so this is the use of route or you can implement this kind of use case with routes simple routes we will use so let's go in here and uh, what i'm going to do here is i'm going to just create let me create a new view control pair and um, I will say new and here it's a view if I view I will say the name is button next finish okay so it will create a new view control pair you can see button control and button view is created and um, what I want to happen or what I want in this particular project is um, the main page which is this page should act like a central or the screen where all the examples are linked to and you can navigate to different different examples with routes okay so let me go to i18n and change here the title is main page and inside the content let's try to add links and uh, I can either add links or I can add button anything why not to add buttons because uh, anyway we have to go to buttons and I will show you a way to create a link as a button so how to do that let's go and see button this is the button you will find inside action and um, the buttons we have used a lot of time but if I try to take the code of a button let me take it and uh, I can I don't need type this is something which I will change and I will make it transparent okay so what it mean by transparent so if I go into sap.m.button and let me go to the API reference here here in the type property I want to show you what are the different types of property which are possible so in the property let me go to type sap m dot button type this is the type of property which you should be putting out there so we have accept back emphasize ghost reject transparent unstyled up so previously when the button was launched initially the possible values were less and uh, now the possible values are more so when I use transparent, it will look like a link, but in reality, it will be just a button. So therefore, I am 
using transparent and um, here on press button and this is a label which I will remove or maybe I will replace it with text and um, go to button something like that okay and then once we have created this button I need to create the event listener inside my controller of the main as well so here inside the controller I'm going to create routes and uh, the route will be going to the button dot view so we have not defined in the manifest the route yet so what I'm going to do I'm going to copy the existing route and to avoid typing here and here I'm going to say the name of button page and pattern is with button page and target button page target which is enclosed with double quotes okay so this target also we don't have so we need to define that so as you can see that when we created the view a target automatically comes up here so I can just kind of replace this with button page target the view name is button the main reason why view name is button is because if you see in here button.view.xml is the name of the view and it is of type xml so we don't need anything we can just navigate with view type and view name there will be some examples or use cases where you might see additional property like control aggregation or what kind of view it is is it a master or a detail view or what is the level those are optional fields only in certain information like when you are working with master detail screen you will be using that but mostly in the routes they are not required by just view name you can navigate to a certain view and uh, when I say just by view name that means it is in the target okay so this is the simple piece of code and um, one very important thing when you create the route you need to have the structure of shell app page and whatever your app is this app should be in here in your root view so if you go up in the root view so somewhere in the top we might have root view yeah this is the root view you can see that we have created the id of the root view which is the main and if you come here then we don't have any main here so this app ID should be here in the ID so this is important when route are being used so you need to have the app ID which is your in a way your main page from where you navigate so what happens in UI5 is you typically have a code frame we have discussed about in the routes as well core frame and then all the pages are basically if it's a page one then this frame renders the page one inside it and if you're routing to page two then the page two actually comes and renders here or in a way all the pages are present in the browser DOM but the page where you want to navigate that page is made visible and the other is made hidden so internally that is how it takes place or that is how the functionality takes place so you need to have the structure which carries the page and um, the app ID should be given in the manifest this is something which if you don't give it then you might encounter error 